While the rest of the world is investing in artificial intelligence, or AI, the Caribbean is still talking about it. This according to the youth opposition leader, Brianna Atwell, speaking during debate on a policy to integrate AI into the education curriculum at the 21st National Youth Parliament. But as the youth government pointed out, the youth opposition brought a half-baked idea to the fore. Sunalala has the details. Because it seems to me they had to be sleeping on the job when constructing this mission. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. No punches were held back during debate at the 21st National Youth Parliament on Monday as the Youth Attorney General, Alia Millet Warner, described the youth opposition's motion to integrate AI into the education system as a premature and short sighted one. But the youth opposition leader, Brianna Atwell, called on the creation of TNT's own chat GPT in chat TT noting that integrating AI into the classroom would be beneficial. The opposition has brought this motion forward. For the defense, seems if this was a government motion, I think the response would be more reciprocal because I think you are opposing for opposing sake. The mock parliament brought students from various schools across the country to experience a day in the life of the parliament as a politician. Youth Minister of Education Sohila Makul, though, said government must proceed with caution. And I see that the opposition is enthusiastic about its implementation, but I urge us to proceed with caution. The government has been working and taking the necessary steps towards equity. Youth opposition member from Moruga Tableland, Jude Charles, defended their stance for the implementation of AI in schools. We are not calling for the over-reliance of AI. We are instead calling for the responsible use of AI in the education system in order to adjust to our change, to the changing workforce. The youth Prime Minister Jaden Francis Mitchell chastised the other side for bringing a half-baked idea to the House. Mr. Speaker, we sat here for hours and hours. Opposition bringing a motion which they are so proud of, but yet still they continuously speak about a framework that they would like to implement and show the House. But where is the framework? And the youth opposition member for Cuba South, Maya Lamont Harper, noted that the idea was well thought out. Now the government bench might wonder why we would follow something from a first world country that has way more resources than we do. But Mr. Speaker, if a country has been successful in implementing something and we want this country to be successful, shouldn't we take inspiration from that? But in the end, both youth government and opposition did not sway from their positions, the motion failing to proceed with 17-4 and 22 against. Ms. Mohammed? No. Mr. Torres? No. Ms. Joseph? Yes. Ms. Atwell? Yes. Sonolala, TTT News. Your voice is not a voice of the future. Your voice is a voice now. The advice from Speaker of the House, Bridget Anisette George, to youth parliamentarians as the 21st edition convened in the lower house on Monday. She hailed the debate on artificial intelligence along with the adoption of parliamentary procedure by the youth as well as what she called their articular presentations and passionate advocacy on the issue. The House Speaker urged the youth parliamentarians to ensure they raise their voices on issues while keeping an open mind. And sometimes you would realize if you live long enough that maybe you were before your time. Because the view that you held, which at the time was not the popular view or the winning view, whatever, ends up being the view to be adopted. So there's no need to solve the discussion with further conflict or a lot of what we're seeing with the gun. Hold on to your view, learn from the other view, okay? It may mean sharpening the way you articulate your view in future. And Education Minister Dr. Nian Gadsby Dolly challenged the youth parliamentarians to continue their advocacy on various issues, noting that they are the leaders of tomorrow. And we expect that as you take your learnings from this experience, you will use it to influence other young people. You will use it to influence national discourse. And that is important. What you have learned from researching 
and being able to present your points on either side is the opportunity to have reasoned discourse. And that is very important. What we discuss in Trinidad and Tobago, especially as young people, is critical because you are the ones who will be forming the leadership of tomorrow.